Hello and welcome to my SQL tutorial. Today we will be learning how to use the select case statement. And what select case does is it allows you to see certain data, or, yeah, see certain, da certain data that falls under certain specifications. It's a lot like if you have other programming backgrounds, which I assume you do if you're learning SQL. It's a lot like if statements in many ways, except it doesn't use the word if. Gee, I'm not even sure. I guess if is a real statement, but anyways, uh, for this, I actually imported a database from the internet from Khan Academy. I was doing a, uh, I was just uh, helping or progress my SQL skills, and I was using Khan Academy, and I actually found a really cool database that one that they offer to the public on GitHub, so I will put that link in the description so you can also get this database. It's a database of countries by population. I'm not 100% sure if this information is accurate, but for our example, it's not really that important whether or not it's accurate. Although I will say one thing, in the database, um, they use the keyword auto increment, but in MySQL you have to use auto underscore increment. So if you see that in the database, let me zoom in here actually. So if you see auto increment, that's one word, you have to change that, you just have to put an underscore there or else it won't work. But other than that, the, all the data transfers over. And you probably have to disable a safety feature but it'll tell you how to do that if you run an error, so I'm not just going to do that. Well, anyways, let's get into it. So let's look at what our data types are, or the names of our rows are. So we have rank, country, population, 1%, uh, population change, net immigrants, migrants, median age, percent age over 60, so on, and there are a lot more. But what we are going to be doing is we are just going to be looking who has an average population. So to do that actually, we have to find the average population. So let's, f how do we find the average population? So we could say select the average. We select the average of population and then from countries, I don't feel like typing that all in, and select, and then this will show us the average population. So this will get all of these populations together and it will show us the average population being 69 million something, something, something. So we can use that information, so let me just get rid of this, to use our select case statement to see which ones are above or below the average. So how we use select case statements is we first say select. And you can actually select multiple data, multiple pieces of data in the select case statement. So I'm just going to select the country name. So at first we can see which countries specifically are above or below the average population. So I'm just going to say country. So we want to select country. And then we also want to put a comma here because remember, uh, case is actually a second data type that you're selecting. So you have to put a comma there. And then we want to select country and we also want to do a case when, keep in mind, you don't have to do the spacing, I just think that it's easier when things are indented like this, but this is how I do my spacing. So select country, and then we also want to select case, so when population is greater than, actually we can just go ahead and copy this, and we don't need these marks here. So if it's greater than the average population, then now we have to put these in actual quotation marks, not uh, the two, these are two different things. So this is where we use actual quotation marks for then statements. So then, so this is just a string that we want to output once this condition is true. Then we want to say above average, average pop. And then we can say else else and this is just if this condition is not met so the only other condition that can happen if this is not met then population is below so this just makes it so we don't have to type out if when population is below that we could just say else you guys probably already know that from other programming experience but in case you didn't that's why we're saying else so then else we want to say below average population and then how we end our case statements is we say end 
as and I'm just going to, <coughs> excuse me I'm just going to call this def for definition of average pop definition of average pop and then we finally have to say from countries by population so now if we go ahead and run this you'll see it was successful so we can see China is above the average population India they're all above the average population then we have looks like the majority of countries are below the average population so we could see a lot of higher class com countries and eh, I guess some kind of higher class countries like the United States China India they're all above the uh, average population then you got some other countries Canada is below the average population I didn't look, once again I don't know if any of these numbers are accurate so if there's somebody who's a population expert I these numbers might not be accurate but anyways so let's say so this table's great and all but let's say we don't want to know the specific countries that are like above and below the average population let's say we just want to know what uh, how many there are of each well we can actually keep our statement here and then we just have to change a few things so we have to instead of selecting country we want to select the count now count is a uh, function in SQL and what that will do is it will select the count or however many of all you have to put the asterisks in here for all so select the count of every single thing then however many meet either of these criteria then it will increment a number for each one of those and then it'll show us that number and then the last thing we have to do is after from countries we have to group by whatever you named the end as so definition of pop and then if you run that you can see that there are 18 countries that are above the average population and there are 82 countries that are below the average population and that is pretty much how you do this um, select case statements so case statements can be difficult especially on higher level databases but once you get the hang of it it's a really good tool to use and anyways, uh, I will leave the, once again, I will leave the link to the database that I used in this in the description. If you like the video, please like it or something. Uh, and